all right what's up y'all so welcome to the how to spy guide for bvl so basically in this video we'll go over the three main aspects of spiking in beyond volleyball league so first off we'll go over the settings then the timing and then the gliding so yeah let's get right into it all right so first off for the settings it's going to be very very simple so first off you need to make sure that your shift lock switch is going to be on that is very important and then in the menu and settings you'll find a setting if you scroll down that is lock jump you need that turned off if you're not like a very pro player that knows how to use it perfectly then it's not good you need to turn it off because it's nerfing you and then centered lock i mean some people use it i prefer to not use it because i've been not like using that setting for like over three years so i prefer to not use it now so yeah that's just preference but log jump should be turned off all right so after you've done both of these settings you're gonna need to learn the timing on how to shift lock perfectly into your jump so in bvl of course there's like a jump delay before you spike and you jump so basically what you want to do is learn that timing and the delay so you shift lock right as you're about to take off so let's say i'm i'm like spiking I press the jump animation and then I shift lock right as I'm about to take off. That makes it so you're not pre-aiming into uh, the receivers and they're going to need to react way more fast if you, they want to receive. So basically, let's say I can show you guys how it works. So basically, let's say I do the timing perfectly. That's going to be way harder to receive than just staying like this the entire time and spiking into the receiver like this, you know? So that is very important to learn and that should be the first step into learning how to correctly spike in BVL. For the third step, which is gliding, I'll add a little more step to it, which is stamina usage. So basically, when you glide into the ball that you want to spike, it is very important that your glide is trajected to one point and you're going to be able to spike it at that one point. So let's say I start here and I want to spike it there. I'm going to side glide into it, you know? So what you want to do when you glide most of the time, what I like to do is, um, let's say I'm on outside. I will most likely do a w, uh, w glide or diagonal glide with A and W, which is going to be the max, uh, max jump height that you're going to get. So let's say if you use W in your glide, you're going to get way more jump height than if you use the side glide. So let's say I side glide right here. You see how low I am? And if I use W, I am way higher than that, you know? So I like to use W more in my glides because it's going to give me more jump height. So as you can see in diagonal, it gives me the same jump height. But I really love to use uh, the W glide with every glide I do because it gives me the best jump height. So I can spike the ball higher and go over the blockers. So that is very important to do. But if you want to have the max jump height that is needed to go over the blockers, then you're going to need to use that stamina bar down there, you know? So, when you want to use your stamina when you're spiking, it's mostly, what I like to do is just stay in one spot or just move around so it gets the blocker away from me and use a lot of stamina. As you can see, I'm like spamming really hard. You need to use a lot of stamina when you're spiking because you don't want to have that slow approach that is readable. You want to be fast and go around like this, boom, boom, you feel me? So stamina usage is very important. I'd say you need to use at least five stamina when you're spiking, at least. So if you combine all of these things, you're gonna be able to spike really well into BVL. Um, also, if you wanna learn more about like your position itself, then I have a playlist, I'm gonna have a playlist link down below for every position guide. Uh, so let's say you play outside and you wanna learn some outside powers, then I have a, a full outside guide with uh, Aiden that is very, very in detail of which power you should use, where you should place yourself when you're receiving. So yeah, if you want to learn more about your position, I'll have it linked down below. So y'all have a good one. I right, see ya.